OK, so starting off, uh, the first thing we need to talk about is uh, robots in general before we can talk about arts and bots too much. Uh, and I was going to ask you guys, you know, what is a robot? Uh, what, do you th what do you think of when you hear the word robot? And welcome, raise your hand. I think of R2-D2. Does anyone else have a, a robot that comes to mind or be real or fictional? I accept both. Smart house. Smart house? OK, awesome. Number five. Johnny uh, Five. Johnny Five was yep. alive. Yep, Johnny Five is alive. Yep. Anyone else? Terminator. Terminator, yep. So a lot of times robots in movies play the villain. Wally. Wally, -E, yep. I love Wally -E too. Hey, yep. How about like this like robots that are, you know, programmed for like military? Yep. Really like yeah, bomb disposal sort of robots or like more like attack ones. Okay, yeah, the, um, the drones kind of thing. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, not familiar with that one. Yep, batteries not include little alien robots. The Transformers and Autobots. Yep. And I also like to throw out uh, Roombas. Some people have Roombas. They're fairly common. Yeah. Yep, pool cleaners. Yeah, so there's a lot of different things that um, you know people think of when they think of robots. A lot of times when you talk to students, they'll be like, metal people. Like, if it's not shaped like a person, it's not made out of metal, it's definitely not a robot. Um, I like to try to encourage you and uh, your students to think broader about robotics. Um, so looking it up in Merriam-Webster, there is a definition that, I mean, it's not my favorite definition, but it's, it's a decent one. Um, there are kind of three different categories that a robot can fall under. You know, looking like a person, a robot that, or a machine that looks like a person, automatically performs tasks, and is guided by an automatic control. So there's a lot about um, robots being able to perform tasks on their own, being able to have a little bit of computation behind them so they can actually uh, perform tasks without too much guidance from you. Um, However, my favorite definition is actually from uh, Joseph Engelberger, who is the father of industrial robots in the 70s, who said, um, I can't define a robot, but I know one when I see one. And that's often how I feel about robots. Um, here are seven of my favorite robots that I really like to show people, just to show a diversity of what robots can be. Um, robots can explore planets like the Mars rovers. Everyone's always really surprised to learn that that Mars rover is actually about the size of a minivan. It's a lot bigger than it looks in the pictures. Um, they can create art, so here's just a little art robot that has markers and kind of draw around. A lot of people are familiar with robots that work in factories and assemble your cars. Uh, this is a da Vinci robot that can perform surgery. However, I believe in this picture it's actually peeling a grape. So they can do really fine, uh, detailed uh, actions. Uh, drive cars, uh, like Google's driving car there. Um, I think it was the first car to get its own license plate in, uh, what is it, uh, Nevada, I think. They have um, a special license plate now for autonomous vehicles. Um, and helping people with disabilities. This is uh, Keepon, who uh, sort of does little dances and works with uh, like children with disabilities uh, to work on uh, like nonverbal communication sort of things. And uh, this is Herb, who lives right upstairs and uh, is sort of like a robotic butler sort of thing. It goes around the home and can open cabinets and microwave lean cuisines and pick up bottles. So it helps around the house. 